How's it going, everybody? Early stream? Yep. Luckily, we're used to waking up a little bit early because of the casino, but um, thanks to the scheduling, we won't be doing the casino today. Um, honestly, we do have a lot of uh, debt to pay off because we've been taking out loans for all the C4 and stuff we've been using, so that's going to be a thing. But um, what we're waking up early for is actually a sponsor. Um, we're going to be watching like a... A 30 minutes path of exile thing. Um, yeah. So that's what we're starting off with, guys. Um, if you've never played Path of Exile, um, well, I don't know what to say because I haven't played it in a long time either. So, um, yep. Anyway, uh, give me one sec. About to set it up, and we should be good. Okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to set my category as Path of Exile. I they didn't really tell me that. So, I mean, I don't really know, but. All right. <clears throat> so we're basically going to be watching this for a bit. All right. All right, let me change my thing. It is, uh, it is sponsored, guys. I'll be changing the title really quick. Um, Oh god, it's kind of loud. I didn't... <clears throat> Alright. Um, hope you have a fun stream. We're starting off just watching this trailer for a bit. Um, Alright. Path of Exile, yep. I used to play it a long time ago. It's been a while, though. Alright. Um, sec. No Gazino? Probably no Gazino. Hey guys, how how loud should this be? Um, Alright. But anyways guys, we're pretty much watching this for I think about 30 minutes and then we'll be getting on GTA uh, after that. So. Yep, it is, it is obviously a bit early guys. It is a bit early. Um, so. Okay. Games. Thank you for joining us as we unveil Path of Exile's next big We're basically we're watching this uh this a Path of Exile thing for their new expansion in a bit. Um, we have released three large end game expansions. Yep. Each evolving Path of Exile's end game in a different way. Today, I didn't I play it went low res. Um and on Xbox and PlayStation on February right. 9th. Twitch drops are enabled. Guess we're just watching this for a bit and then we should be good. And the wasteland wings. Let me turn it a little louder. We've got a lot to show you in today's live stream, so I'm going to. I don't want it like too ground, loud, but not too quiet. We'll you start know. start with a trailer for Siege of the Atlas, and then uh, dive into learning about the pinnacle bosses you'll face as you explore the new Atlas okay. of Worlds. We'll then talk about the new way you customize your Atlas experience. Rewards are next, with a focus on both the new itemization and crafting possibilities. I haven't in played items, this in a bit, guys. Not gonna lie. Currency items you could earn by defeating the pinnacle bosses. Then we'll cover changes to how the Atlas works. What time is it? It's um revealing the arch It's like 11 a.m. where I live. Alongside Siege right. of the Atlas. It's a little early. It's After a little a early of for us. Game balance changes we're making in this expansion. Right. We'll have a Q&A session where Ziggy D asked me questions from the community. Finally, right. we'll is it solo? We're, we're not playing it today, guys. We're just watching the thing. Let's it should be about 30 minutes. Um All right. Okay. It's Tsunami. Yep, we'll, we'll be on later, though. Right. Cirrus um, is dead. Okay. You ever played it? Exile. I've played it, but I played it um, quite a while ago. So. But the Atlas of Worlds remains dead? Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to pretend. I don't quite know the storyline too well, because I haven't played in a long amount of time. We placated the Maven. We've been preparing right. for the arrival of another. Um, but we never expected Thor. 
Okay. It's like a top-down action RPG kind of thing, I think. Alright. It's like, uh, yeah, guys, I'm, I'm not sure if we're allowed to, you know, I, I just, I probably shouldn't say this, but sometimes game sponsors don't like when you make certain comparisons. Now, they haven't told me it, but I'm just trying to be safe, so, <clears throat> just gotta, just, <laughs> not gonna say anything, um, but technically they didn't say I shouldn't, but obviously there are some similarities to another, you know, top-down RPG that I bet a lot of people have played. Um, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, it's not a bad thing, in my opinion, but... Sold? I think it's actually free to play. Unless it isn't. In which case, uh, this is... It's gonna be awkward if it's not free to play. Um, it's, it's free, isn't it? I, I, I think it's free. Um... All right, February 4th, guys, the new expansion. All right. I don't know if there's a storyline for this game. I kind of just, you guys know I'm a story skipper, so like I don't really, the events don't really know. The Atlas take place after the defeat of Cirrus. With Zana leaving to pursue her own okay. agenda, Commander Kerrick has taken responsibility for defending the Atlas and Rayclast against whatever eldritch horrors might arrive. Because Aureth was decimated by both Katava and then Cirrus, I think Eric there's a storyline. Map devices to an isolated island in the Karui Archipelago um, and has established a militia in order to prevent another event. Where's the like link? There, there's no link or anything yet, as far as I know. It's, uh, I think it's on Steam though. If it's not on Steam, this is gonna be awkward. But I'm pretty sure when I played it last, it, it was. Um, if I'm wrong about that, this is gonna be really, really awkward. But um, yeah, last time I played it, it, it was on. Steam, you must but. learn what you can do about these entities and attempt to prevent the right. existential threat they pose to Rayclast. Uh, you're early today? Yeah, I'm super early. I had a, I have a sponsor to watch In Path Siege of Exile. Of Atlas, the two new um, the and it's at 11, and so we're watching at 11. I know it's a little these earlier than usual. The pinnacle Atlas bosses um, of the past, such as the Elder, the Shaper, the Maven, and Cirrus. You will hunt down these two bosses and their sub-bosses, the Black Star and the Infinite Hunger. You will be able to pursue right. both Eldritch Horrors at the same time, right. but you can Is it bad if I don't know what any of this means? In mid-tier maps, you'll randomly encounter the influence uh, of either the Searing Exarch or the Eater of Worlds. The Maven understands it looks cool, the though, that these and I did used to play to uh, in the past, so... You'll so. modify your map device so that when entering maps, you I, can choose to add either the maps. influence of the Maven or any Eldritch Horror you have encountered. All right. The bosses look unique. As you run yeah, it's um. The I mean, I I don't know. I I used to play a while ago. This is the new expansion, so I'm I'm assuming it's new. It looks complicated. Guys, definitely this game's extremely complicated. There's like a bazillion builds, and it kind of scared me. Um. These bosses have exclusive new unique items in their drop force. Oh, they got gloves. That's new. Finally, in the highest tiers and there's a lot of things. The there's a lot of things, guys. The of worlds themselves. Um, okay. If you are able to defeat these extremely difficult foes, they can drop their own exclusive new unique items and Eldritch I mean, currency items, which we'll describe later in the live stream. Uh, is it your type of game? Once yeah, I've actually I used to play this a lot in the, the past. Um, worlds, I haven't played recently though. Them. But I might so want to play with the new expansion, uh, map, Siege of, Siege of the, the new expansion. Um. <clears throat> You'll eventually find a key that allows you to challenge right. the Black Star or the Infinite Hunger again. As this key to the fight is tradable, it's not a strict requirement that you slay this first boss, but the item rewards will strongly encourage you to do so. Right. They're telling us to farm, I think. Horror-influenced maps. You will receive another tradable key to fight okay. the Searing Exarch or the Eater of Worlds, giving you another shot at their exclusive rewards. Sold? I feel like, you know when people said I used to grind in Rust or grind GTA offline like for money? It's because I used to play a lot of grinding games back in the day. And rewards even further. Um, Earlier, I mentioned that maps can be influenced is that by bad? I, it might be worlds. bad, I don't know. Before we move on, I wanted uh, to go into more detail about what that actually means. 
In right. influence maps, as you defeat enemies, altars themed around the Searing Exarch or the Eater of Worlds occasionally appear where you kill those enemies. These altars give you the choice between two options. They can either modify your character, influence monsters, or the boss of the <laughs> That's like all games, rewards, yeah. But also increasing difficulty. You can encounter okay. multiple altars per area, so sometimes you can drastically affect the difficulty and rewards of a map as you play through it. It's also fine Let's to ignore see. it and choose not to increase the difficulty. Cosmetics the cost a lot. Do they? Um, An example of a I think depending on the game, I'm, I might be into cosmetics. It depends costs, on the game a lot, though. Also causing it to drop an like, additional Eldritch currency item as a reward. We'll explain what these new currency items Why are all the ads the so Western. early? I think it's more I have a late schedule as opposed to... Well, okay, 11's a little early, I feel like. To both unlock like. New maps and raise the level of maps across it's your too apps. loud, is it? This required grinding I feel like it's it's pretty decent uh, volume. Different uh, In Siege of the Atlas, Kirito started as a grinder, so too? That's true, guys. That is... <laughs> that is true, guys. He started off as a grinder. So, I mean, he was the original grinder, you could say. It's a little low now? Okay. I mean, some people said it was too loud, Despite so I wasn't... the era of Watchstones being over, we do really like the ability to raise the tier of maps on your okay. atlas, so that eventually all of them are tier 16. To this oh, end, no, this is... This is the part that always confused me. See how complicated these, like, uh... The Elder, the Maven, these things the get, guys? Exarch, there's, like, skill the trees, all this stuff, and there's, like, 10 million options. Of its maps, it's, like, pretty, uh... You kind of have 16. to, like... <clears throat> you kind of have to Google a guide, man. It's too, it's too, uh, it's too complicated. Just saying. Um, is that bad to say? Oh no, it's definitely not. Um, definitely. Yeah, that. This is the skill tree right here. I think. Look at the skill tree, guys. I think you start like in the middle, and you can go anywhere. It's like crazily complicated. I usually Google a guide, and by Google a guide, I mean I don't even read the guide. I just look up the picture and try and follow the dots. Is what I did when I used to play this game like way back when. Whenever you allocate an Atlas passive skill, it's still yeah. apply to every uh, map you run anywhere. You just kind of just um. Also, because it's much faster to You just you just look up the guide, guys, and you you follow the dots. It's like it's like connect the dots kind of game. An um, every time you level up. And profit what are you doing after? Probably getting on GTA is the plan, We've I think. We've integrated some um, skills from past regional Atlas trees right. and have created several new ones, like secret operations, which turns some of the strong boxes you right. encounter into a new type of strong box that drops scarabs. Corrupted gaze causes abyssal jewels um, to sometimes drop corrupted with five or six modifiers rather than a typical four. Oh yeah, I know what that Ghastly means. Devotion guarantees that areas that contain ritual altars will always contain four altars. Oh, I yeah, we love Having ritual altars, guys. Those uh are good, I think, without being limited to you what get was available like four in a specific them. region. You can increase how often you encounter your favorite content I think. and adjust how challenging and rewarding um, that content is. The removal okay. of Atlas regions means that you have more freedom to run the maps you like without being forced into regions of the Atlas that are passives that affect the content you wanted to play. Okay. The topic of map drops is also important here. This Powerful game's good. Oh, it is. I've played it in the past before. Maps, I'm just a little behind on the time, so I don't know what's happening um, for a lot of things. Get more maps but... than they actually need. Yeah. Weaker characters have to be more careful with what mods they add to their maps and hence find fewer maps. This new Atlas tree lets you choose how much you want to invest in the map tier upgrade that used to be the Atlas completion map bonus. Which means wait, wait. Characters who wait, do guys, you're telling me the map has skill points too? Am I? <laughs> am I? Am I? Am I maybe I'm misunderstanding. I feel like the normal skill tree was already really complicated. Now the map has a skill tree? Maybe I'm understanding it wrong. I, I've got to be understanding it wrong. Um. The map has actually, or am I being memed on? I feel like the original one was already complicated enough, but um, you can put skill points in your map. Oh God! All right. Um, the game's good. It is. I used to play it. Yeah. A regular influence I mean, item you found on the ground usually. Guys, are these like god tier items or something? These are like. Uh, I'm assuming these are like supposedly really good items because they're showing it to us or something. Um, no, those suck. They do? <laughs> why are they? Why are they showing them to us if they suck? Then. You can also start interacting with Eldritch and Plus much earlier in your mapping experience. 
How long is it? It's uh, it's actually a live stream on their channel. We're just kind of co-streaming it. Uh, it should be about 30 minutes, I think. Or can be modified with systems such as Val Corruption. So we're we're almost halfway done. Replace existing implicit mods, but with a twist. They're really bad items, are they? One Eldritch implicit. I mean, I don't, I don't really know. So. And one from the Eater of Worlds at the same time. These implicits right. have many different tiers and several ways to interact with them. While playing maps. Oh God. Uh. New currency items. Eldritch I mean, I, I don't really know what, uh, corresponding to the as a lesser exile, eater of worlds, worlds modifier These body, oh, can be applied I couldn't even bugs, read it before, helmets, okay, I mean, I'm not complaining, but that was, uh, definitely a little bit of an overload of information for me there, um, as I mentioned before, is it a new game? Uh, not exactly, Path of Exile is not brand new, uh, but there is a new expansion coming out February 4th, I think, so, yeah. Uh, These gloves have a single Eldritch Implicit mod which grants you the ability to gain rage on hit, rate limited by a cooldown. I... I mean... There are two Eldritch Implicit mods on this helmet. The first one okay. simply grants some added fire damage with spells. I think they're trying to explain to me how the game works. You to be unable to but I'm more of a person who plays it to learn it than reads to learn it. The first like this has too many words for me. I'm gonna glaze over. Um, well, the highest two tiers can only be actually, all the words look the same. Words it's just the number increasing. The so I don't really. Drops on all maps and means that any important build I mean, I, I'm more of a player. You know what I mean? Like, atlas. is anyone else like the that? Second and third tiers um, come from exploring maps influenced by the Eldritch horrors, and the fourth tier drops from the Searing Exarch or the okay. Eater of Worlds themselves. You may be wondering how you get access to the fifth and sixth tiers. This requires some luck and play. Uh, yeah, that's what I was have a wondering. To drop the orb of conflict. When used on an item with two Eldritch <clears throat> Implicits, <clears throat> the orb of conflict lowers the tier of one Implicit mod and increases okay. the tier of the other. This allows you to manipulate the balance between the two types of Implicits. Hmm. The best possible Close outcome is to have a tier six and a tier four mod at the same time. In order to achieve this, you'd want to apply the I feel like they're getting um, really into the details, which means if you don't already know the details, it's hard to keep up a little bit. Before using more Ember and Ica to lock in the tier four mod of the other type that you're looking for. It all makes sense. I, I'm even gonna pretend, guys. I mean, I'm technically sponsored, but I'm a little lost. I think uh, a lot of it is into the details, and if you don't already play a lot, it would maybe be confusing. Um, there are also conditional versions I think. of Eldritch Implicit Good game, that are only enabled when specific types of enemies are in Still your presence. Still have the bear, yep, yep. These ramp up in power as the condition gets more restricted. These conditional mods are designed for players who feel okay. that they have oh, this is a boss, I think. easier monsters and want to specialize the boss in fight. even more effective against the really tough bosses mm -hmm. where it matters. Characters look OP in the video. Items I mean, I'd imagine they are being because, dominated by one yeah. of the Eldritch Horrors. If Let's plan today. We finish tier watching this up, and then we'll be on GTA later. Considered dominated by the Searing Exarch. Conversely, if the mod for the Eater of Worlds is higher tier, then it is considered dominated by the Eater of Worlds. Domination of the. Domination matters for three new currency items we're introducing. The uh -huh. Eldritch Chaos Orb will reroll the prefixes of an item if it is dominated by the um, Searing Exarch. It's not good for people who don't know the game. The yeah, I'm not gonna pretend, guys. Uh, the trailer was cool and the stuff. I think right now it's getting into like details. Which and since I haven't played the game, the details don't, don't make too much. Uh, These very rare currency items give you a large degree of control. Yeah, I mean it's not. Uh, if you're able to manipulate the Eldritch implicits correctly, uh, it's important to note that you can't apply Eldritch I'm, 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 Guys, I'm lost, man. I, I, that, I mean, items the trailer was cool though. Shaper, trailer was cool, influence. but I, I'm a. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of details here. The Siege of the Atlas um, I'm more of a pictures of kind items, of person. Which drop from the four new so. Atlas bosses we have introduced. But there are new the unique Atlas items. I know what that means. Six of them today. Um, the Ashes of the Stars Onyx Amulet increases the new level expansions of all like the end game. And oh, that makes an sense. 20% quality. It also improves the reservation efficiency of your skills okay. and lets you level all of your gems faster, which is really See. useful for gems such as Empower and Enlighten. Um, you're early? Yeah, we're the early for the, the sponsor because um, they're well streaming it at 11 and we had to watch it at 11. So. 
The dissolution of the flesh I, prismatic jewel changes the way that you interact with incoming damage. Yes, they're just they're giving us like loot. I, I mean, damage is taken in the form of a temporary reservation to your life. You know, I bet if someone who plays this game a lot life, right now is like, oh my so god, this is the craziest thing ever. I can't believe it. Uh, but for me, who has played this game a lot in the past but hasn't played recently. I'm just like Claric devastation opal ring introduces a new well, what is uh covered in frost and gives I you mean, another way to apply the existing covered in ash the debuff. polaric this devastation is a solid opal ring, for ring. specializing in either fire or cold damage in a similar vein to but I bet you someone out there who plays this game every day is like man this is wicked absolute wicked um, the ceaseless feast spiked gloves have a new debuff called corrosion okay. which you can stack up on enemies to remove their armor and evasion this is not only a is this the same item or a new one? Reduction, I think it's a new one. Also have an additional bonus this is a good item, right? 19% melee damage? That sounds kind of busted, but I mean, we are also introducing I don't really know. A pair of very rare aspirational unique jewels, forbidden flame Let's and forbidden see. flesh. Each of these jewels Does, drops from one of the two... Do we have some pros bosses, that can... Yeah. And are these items? And they must Where'd the numbers go? Unlock their potential. They require uh, the user of the jewel to be a specific class, and they roll with a modifier that specifies a random ascendancy skill from one of the ascendancies of that class. Uh, if you are able to equip both a forbidden flame and a forbidden new jewels. Flesh jewel oh, the things you put inside the items, maybe. And if you meet the class requirement, then you will be granted that ascendancy skill. For example, if you're a dead eye and find oh. a forbidden flame jewel that specifies the master surgeon. If you're a dead eye and find the forbidden flame jewel, you can. Flesh jewel, you will gain the master and the for flesh jewels open up many new uh, build possibilities what's a what's a, a dead eye flame the favored map system uh, allows you to find more of fa the favored map uh, and the old atlas there were three um, favored map slots available to unlock in each region now that regions have been removed favored map slots can be unlocked by oh yeah guys i i know exactly what they're talking about because an elder guardian. um uh, there are 12 favored map slots that can um, be unlocked these now apply to all map drops on the atlas, yep. rather than affecting map drops in just one region. Oh, hey, it's Each the map skill tree. I remember this one. To how frequently it's corresponding map drops relative to other um, maps. You can select 12 different maps as your favorite maps. 12 you favorite the same map type in all 12 favorite slots maps. for a massive 120 times boost to its occurrence. Right, right, right. This is particularly powerful once you've socketed all four void stones into your atlas, making all of your maps tier 16, and with a 120 times multiplier applied to a specific map. In this case, 120 this times multiplier? I don't know what that even means. It just sounds busted, though. So I, I guess you can choose certain maps to grind more, and you get better loot. I mean, I don't. Because void stones come from the highest tier content, we've removed simple sextants and prime sextants, as they can no longer be used when you would typically acquire them. We've added the mods from these sextants to the pool of mods that the awakened sextants have. Because this dilutes the pool uh, of mods that Awakened Sextants can roll, we've increased the frequency at which you acquire Awakened Sextants. Your awakened existing Simple and Prime Sextants will be converted to Awakened Sextants. Is, am I supposed to know what this is? I, we have made no changes to Elevated uh, Sextants. With the new Atlas system as context, we've uh, a balance pass of all Sextant mods. I thought it was this like a, a, slight reduction a tool to, to help find where you are when you're sailing, but I mean, I don't know what it is. Area. Area. We've in terms of the this Nemesis game. Monsters drop three additional currency items mod, both because it's busted okay. and because it's incompatible with our future plans for the mm. Arch Nemesis League. It's currency to modify We've jewels that modify the maps. Okay. The general intention um, it sounds like you choose favorite grinding maps, maybe. While adding extra difficulty. Or reward players for specializing into okay. having other leagues present too much area. info example, yeah i think if you've never played the game before for sure you're going to so be absolutely just uh confused scarabs, map or even players, if you've played the, the game before but haven't spammed it it'd still be quite confusing i think um because i've with played the, the game before and i don't know half the things they're saying to swap in and out watch zones with different sextant modifiers on them depending on which maps they were running we like the strategic I, I'm still not even sure what a sextant is, but he keeps saying it. The new currency item called the Surveyor's um, Compass. This can be applied to a void stone with a sextant mod okay. on it to itemize that sextant mod for later use or trade. I mean, I, I'm still not this sure what it is, but they, they, it must be important if they bring it up that much. For one chaos orb, similar to how Einhaus um, sells beastery orbs. There's no limit I, on how many I'm you guessing. can purchase. Um, with Zana gone, you may be wondering what is happening to her Atlas missions. Well, Kirik is taking over from Commander her, but it works Kirik. a little differently now. 
Carrick has assumed the position of commander, and he has important mm -hmm. missions for you to carry out in the Atlas. You open Ooh. these missions at your map device Ooh. and can run them just like before. However, you won't encounter Kirik inside a map, and you won't be able to apply Kirik yeah. objectives to a map itself. Because of okay. this, we've raised the chance that you receive. Hey guys, this is like a multiplayer game, you right? So you can play in a group, I think. Previously, Zana's missions had Probably. completion objectives, but with the removal of the favor system, this stopped mattering. Instead of focusing on completion, Kirik missions now focus more on rewards, and so their purpose okay. is to provide you with additional league content or extra item drops. Instead of your free daily mission being based yeah, it's, on the uh, map you've completed, a lot of it's now based on the highest tier map information. completed in this current league. I think. For example, if you completed a tier 16 map, your daily missions will always be high tier maps. Kirik missions Scar can and Peter play it? Yeah, I used like to play it too, um, but I haven't played recently, which is probably why so much stuff is confusing to me. The prophecy that makes an area right. contain 24 to 36 additional strongboxes right. with no natural monster inhabitants. Kirik now sells you maps. Much like Xana did in the past, except there is now a wider variety of outcomes with variants on the prices. Sounds like a dev so log. Yeah, a little bit. More frequently in case there's a good um. deal. The items in the window were re-rolled under the same conditions as Xana's previous shop. Kirik can sell I mean, I don't know what. Mods, <laughs> um, content. Plans of playing it soon? Yeah, we'll probably play the new expansion, I think, as part of the thing. It is very complex, and I'm just going to say it. I said it earlier, but this is obviously very confusing if you've never seen the game before. Um, yeah. I mean, I've played the game before, and it's, I'm still very confused, not even going to lie. These new maps have a different set of mission um, outcomes that includes valuable ones like Is this an ad for reacting? Pretty much, yeah. We react to their stream for their new uh, expansion and having only uncompleted maps available or any that's most of it. The selection. No. The value here is not only the reroll of what is offered to you, but also the guarantee of one or more high value missions. On the Atlas Passive Tree, you can specialize in Atlas Passive Tree scouting reports. So what I've learned is um your character has Kirik a skill tree, and then apparently your map has a skill tree, uh, or something. I, I'm not, sold, like not sure. Cards. Um, Despite them not being part of the core Atlas experience anymore, it's still possible to fight Cirrus and the Conquerors to take advantage of their influence and unique item rewards. Yes, I'm assuming this is all endgame stuff, and I don't know if I'll ever even make it this far. Or a random conqueror. Um, you can also purchase these maps from Kirik. When you enter the map, you'll be met with hordes right. of influence monsters that can drop influenced items. Upon defeating the map boss, a portal will open to the Conqueror's arena. Upon death, the Conqueror will drop a fragment. Okay. Each Conqueror has their own fragment. Combine all four fragments in your map device to open a set of portals to the Cirrus encounter. As it's now okay. harder to get influenced items, we've moved plus level gem modifiers into the global mod pool for amulets. So it's now possible to get the powerful plus two levels to certain gems without having to use influenced amulets. Okay. Now that Cirrus and the Conquerors are no longer core parts of Atlas gameplay, they will not drop awakened gems. These gems can now drop uh, even invitations. That's a lot of words. Arch Nemesis is a challenge um, that reinvigorates fights with RAM monsters. It introduces right. around 60 new monster mods These that allows you to customize your RAM oh fights to control your level of risk and reward. These mods can be combined in over 35 recipes to create new, more powerful, and rewarding mods. As you play through the league, you'll discover okay. more recipes and learn how to best utilize them to get the most valuable uh, rewards. I know what's when going on. Do you? Magic Do you really? Um, they sometimes drop an itemized version of a new Arch Nemesis monster modifier. Okay. You store these in a dedicated inventory panel so they don't clutter your regular inventory. Mm -hmm. Over the course of each area you play, you'll encounter four right. monsters that are frozen in place, petrified, and bound to an arch nemesis statue. When you find such a monster, you can free it by empowering it with an arch nemesis mod. If you're able to successfully defeat the empowered monster, then you will receive okay. the next reward that corresponds to that modifier. Um. The trick that makes this league awesome is the four petrified monsters per area. You see, the mods you apply will accumulate as you play through the area. When you empower your second monster, it oh, also okay. has the mod you applied to the first monster. This results in a fight that has twice as many dangerous mods and twice as many rewards. Even though right. you received the reward from right. the first mod when you killed the oh, first Oh, we got something orange. Monster, is that... You receive a second reward of that type when you kill the second monster. Orange is good. Monster. The I mean, same I... applies to the third and fourth right, Of course, orange well. is good, I think. By the time I you think. defeat the fourth monster, you'll have received the first reward four times, the second reward three times, and so on. 
Take the care first when reward you for mods so that you can maximize your rewards. Huh. Hmm. More than half of the available mods are created by combining other mods together on the same monster. As an example of right. how this works, if you apply both incendiary and hasted to the same monster, then in addition to the rewards that these two mods grant, you will also receive an itemized flame walker mod. This dude's like three shotting it. Um this can then be applied to another petrified monster later on to complete further recipes. These recipe mods yield substantially more dangerous encounters and have more valuable rewards. Even if you're not completing a recipe with your modifiers, you can still combine them to get some ridiculous combinations of rewards. For example, defeating an innocence touched enemy grants three uh. currency rewards and converts all other rewards into currency. Defeating a mirror image enemy grants a divination card reward and rerolls all rewards three times, yielding the rarest result. Killing a flamewalker enemy Ooh, the grants rarest three results. Rewards. Killing a toxic enemy grants a generic reward plus a gem reward. If you were to kill an enemy with all four modifiers, you get a total of nine currency rewards, each rolled three times and dropping the best uh. result. But if you Ooh. apply the mods in the order mentioned above, then as you kill each of the four monsters in the area, you'll receive the earlier rewards multiple times. The end result is the equivalent of getting 60 currency rewards and receiving the best okay. 20 plus 3 regular currency rewards. As you can see from this example, even the basic rewards that offer say 3 random weapons are really useful because you can combine them with reward conversion mods to take advantage of their high item counts. We're looking forward to seeing what other types of crazy ways you manage to combine your arch nemesis rewards. To prevent you having to backtrack, there are more than Guys, I'm not even going to pretend I'm not stun locked. I have no idea what they're talking about anymore. Um, I mean, this dude's like spinning around. Look at him go. Guy's playing Beyblade right here. That's kind of cool. I want to be that guy. Um, I don't know the rest of the stuff happening. Uh, I mean... I... The helicopter? That's a good one, guys. That's that's a good one. The helicopter one. Very common gameplay um, struggle with end game content. I've been I've been watching some TikToks lately. Some songs are way overused, just gonna say. Some are like ultra overused. Helicopter one's not bad. That one's not bad. Or I mean, at least for me, like that one I kinda like. It's it's funny, I think. Um, does have a few of the oh god, TikTok. Honestly, some of them are like kind of scuffed. Some of them are funny, but like it makes it easy for you to skip through it. So like um, if it sucks, and a lot of them do, you can kind of just skip through it really quick. Alongside Siege of the Atlas, we're introducing two new types of stash tap. One for flasks and one for gems. Haven't been this lost since the court RP? I think the court RP made more sense to me, but I mean... Regardless of whether you've purchased the new specialized tabs. The gem stash no. tab allows you to easily store and sort your collection of up to 500 skill and support gems. By default, it displays all gems stored in the tab, but you can use one of the four categories at the top to filter between right. red, green, blue, and white gems. Court There's RP a was hard to follow? To a little bit, but like at the end of the day, it was like, um, required level or quality you know. To easily find whatever gem you're looking for. The flask stash tab allows there's a hundred new things. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of new things for sure. Utility and unique flasks. You can also use the drop down to change the sort order between item level, base type, and quality. This allows okay. you to quickly find flasks of a certain type, potential flasks to vendor for glass blowers baubles, or high item level flasks for crafting. Um, Remember that regardless of whether you've purchased these new tabs, you'll still be able to set up affinities for gems or flasks on your existing stash tabs. Alongside the launch class, I have Atlas, no idea. This is too, it's definitely confusing um, since we've the never really done the game very much the before. The event will take uh, place in the hardcore solo self found Arch Nemesis League. All right. We have some interesting prizes in store for the winners. Keep an eye on the news next week. For Patch, more it's like a new um, expansion or something like that. We're almost at the Q&A, but first I'd like to show you the new supporter packs we're releasing right. today to help fund development of future Path of Exile expansions. Our new new packs are supporter, the packs. Keep supporter packs. All right. I'm assuming these are optional like cosmetics. Packs, there are three tiers available, each of which include points equivalent you guys, to is, is it bad if I say you don't need cosmetics because when you use your skills, you can't see your character? I mean, you guys saw like the gameplay so earlier, right? Your dude just turns into a spinning light, so the it's like kind of, you know. Comes with an exclusive you know. And the Ember Keep series comes I shouldn't with say that because I'm sponsored, page. though, but like, 
these I don't know, watching the gameplay, it's so bright. There's all these colors. You can't really see your dude anymore, you know? But I mean, I, I, they, look, they look cool. That concludes the reveal portion of this live stream. Keep All right. on news next week as we unveil more details about the Siege of the Atlas expansion and the Arch Nemesis League. In the meantime, these reveals are already live on YouTube for you to link to your Oh, the reveals are on YouTube if you guys want to hear all the information again. Join us as we explore the Atlas alongside you next week. It's all right, time. guys. That's it for the watch along, I think. Um, it's pretty interesting. Um... All right, it was pretty interesting. I thought, um, not a bad game. I think for the reveal, like for a new player like myself, um, you know, obviously a little too much information. Um, you know what I mean? Um, cause like it, it went really into the details. I think for an experienced player, that would have been interesting. But for me, it was like trailer was cool, you know, stuff like that. Uh, but I think for like a, a player who hasn't really played much, it obviously. Uh, that would for sure uh, throw them off, I think. Um, but pretty cool. I think we'll be playing it when uh, when it comes out on February 4th. So that'll be cool, I think. Um, but obviously, guys, I, a lot of the end game stuff, like I've never even seen it before. So uh, threw me off. But it is a good game. I used to play it in the past a bunch. So, yeah. Um, okay. Um... Okay. Um, but thanks for the sponsor. It's pretty cool. I do think, uh, yeah, I mean, I pretty much gave, uh, my input there. I think for new players, you know, it's, um, it's tough to, uh, what's it called? To, like, understand any of those details. You gonna work on the highs today? Probably not. I don't think we are uh, having our slot for the casino, but we do have some other plans that we'll be talking about, and we need to definitely make some money, guys, because we have to pay off the debt. I don't know if you guys knew, so um, we've agreed to split the casino heist into day segments where some people can do it a few days, other people do it other days. The problem is the clean boys are currently $2 million in debt, from C4, Magnets, Thermite, and other things. So, uh, wait, it's three million now? Three million to Speedy? Jesus. No. Um, okay, I, I thought it was about two million or so. Um, but it, people in chat are saying three or four? You guys are trolling. No, no way it's already at four, is it? It's at four now? Oh, probably because Mr. Lang made another order. Did he make another order for next week? Okay, yeah, Mr. Lang made an order for the weekend, and... That is probably why it's so high now. Well, that's going to be fun. Um, for Saturday? Okay, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, this could be this could be bad, guys. But we'll be trying to make some money. It's a grind day. Hopefully, we can hit some banks or something uh, for various reasons. But, yeah, we're going to be trying to figure out a way to make money. Because we are about uh, 4 mil in debt. I'll be honest. If I felt like we were close to finishing the casino... I wouldn't be too worried, you know? It'd be like, yeah, we'll finish the casino eventually, and we'll be good. Um, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be finishing the casino anytime soon. So I don't know when we're going to be able to pay it back. Um, yeah. Work a shifted uwu? The problem with working a shifted uwu is it won't make the money fast. I mean, it makes solid money, but you're not going to get to a mill off of that, you know? Um... Okay. Um, we I think we got to start robbing stuff. X has been hitting vaults and stuff a lot. So, yeah, we obviously owe a lot of money right now. So, going to be a problem. Going to be a problem. Let's try and make some money. I think uh, we'll be hanging out with Mr. Lang later today. So, uh, yeah. Fishing. I don't think any regular jobs are going to make us the money, guys. We, I'm, I'm just going to say it. We got to grind banks. We do have a blue dongle. So we can probably use that. We got band-aids. Let's get this going. Duo vault. Yeah, I mean, we pretty much have to, uh, what's it called? We're going to spam duo banks. Spam duo Fleeka, duo Polito, duo everything. I have a blue dongle. We might have greens at the manor. We should go check. But, um, 
Didn't you also get a red with Tony? We did, but it's sort of a, like a group thing. It's probably chilling at the manor. So we'll see if we can do that. Not 100% sure. What I will say is this. The Thermite should be an absolute cakewalk by now, I feel like. Because, um, what's it called? I mean, the 8x8 eight eight is like 10 million times harder. Um, let's go to Ugo. The 8x8 eight eight is like 10 million times harder. And, um, what's it called? We can do that sometimes, not all the time. I think Marty's uh, much better at me at that. I can do the seven by seven almost all the time. Eight by eight, I can do most of the time. Or not most of the time, sorry, some of the time. Seven by seven, I can do most of the time. Six by six is like easy papiga clapa. Um, and then that's most of it. All right. Why is the stream so early? Guys, there's two reasons I do early streams. One is if uh, I have a sponsor, which is why we did it today. And two is if um, if we have the casino. <laughs> um, let's see, what about magnets? Um, the magnets are literally the easiest version of thermite. So realistically, you know, I, I think almost anybody could do it. But um, all right, we need some food, though. Uh, what do we have that we can eat? Let's get uh, two sandwiches. One drink. Make, 700 shit. bucks. Yeah. Only Frank? Oh my God, I know that's shit. the meme, but <laughs> yeah. Oops. 700. Um, you gotta get paid All right. Oh. Um, oh, hell yeah. All right. Eating some food. Jesus. Wait, is that you, Kara? Yeah, what's up? Jesus, you're always awake. Like, I don't think there's ever been a time that I showed up and you weren't working. Uh, oh, yeah, I do work a lot. Yep, that's a good thing, though. Um, okay. Let's get that. Get some water. All right, and some drink. Why are you awake so early? We had a, a sponsored thing to watch uh, Path of Exile, and we'll be playing the new expansion when it comes out on February 4th. Did I miss the Path of Exile? Uh, a little bit, but it was just a watch along today. We'll actually be playing it on uh, when the expansion comes out in like a week or so. So you sort of missed it, but like not really. I think you can just rewatch the, the thing later. Um, all right. Here we go. Let's... Um, okay, what was I doing? I got food. I think I got most supplies I need. Duo banks today. If we can, we'll try to. Hey, Mr. Lang. Good morning. Damn, somebody's awake early today. Yeah, yeah. What are you up to currently? I'm currently <laughs> driving around. Oh, we, uh, well, I, I had a weird question. How much money do we owe Speedy? Uh, probably like three million dollars. Three million. <laughs> Um, oh, we're down two million right now, and I ordered another million supplies. Okay. Oh, I had a crazy theory about the casino. Um, what if you put the mag? You know how the magnets you can do at any time, right? What if you put the magnets in after the power comes back on, and the, when the power's off, you have to get the codes from security, and then you um. You put the magnets in to reroute the power when the power's running through it when it's on. Probably not, oh but this is God. like, uh, this hey, is like a these theories. Listen, listen. Yeah. All theories begin. We're gonna save. We're gonna okay. keep in our little mental note uh, notebook. All right. Until Saturday. Yeah, I'm also thinking this is a good theory because we can try it after a failed attempt. So, we can like literally yeah. do anything as long as I get the code before the power goes out. We can just save it because yeah. I'm thinking. It doesn't do anything, right? Is what we think. But maybe it doesn't do yes. anything because the things on the top route the power when the main power's on. So we just have the, you know, power off section to get the codes. Then we plug it in and then, um, you know. I like it. I like it. Where are you at? You want to hang out? Um, I pretty much just woke up. Yeah. Um, also, I might have to set up a, a few things before we, <clears throat> you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. If set you up, know, set up your stuff and uh, yep. just give me a call when you're ready to go. All right, uh, I'm gonna go chill at the manor for a bit while I set up. Then, um, all right, love you. 
All right, see you soon. We should uh, try and make some money to pay Speedy back at some point. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Is this fucker? Nope. Hey, I'm about I'll, to uh... lose my mind. Give me a second. I got to right. me over with some bullshit. Oh. All right, well, don't don't go to prison. I'll be at the manor. Um. Okay. Hopefully, Mr. Lang doesn't go to prison. Let's go to the manor, guys. We got to go check if we have some dongles. Um, I have a blue dongle from the last green we did, obviously. And then we're going to go to the manor. Check if we have some greens. I feel like greens are the most... Um, they're the best things to hit because people love spamming them, you know. Um, set up what? Oh, set up for the bank and all that. The hazard lights, I, I don't know what's wrong with it, guys. They won't turn off. Um, I, I think it's just bugged. So, I, it, it literally won't turn off and I, I don't know how to... Yeah. Alright. Easy way to earn money? It is. The Fleekas are so easy, guys. I mean, you guys saw last time we did it. Ray just drove us out in a four-door... Uh, Sultan. So, now I will say that's mostly because Ray's been doing a lot of racing, and he's kind of insane. Um, I'd say, oh, I shouldn't say this, guys, because it's going to be spicy, but I think in terms of consistency, Ray is actually more consistent uh, than Tony is. I don't know. I, I don't know if that's bad to say. I think Tony knows cooler tricks. He has the cinematics down, all that stuff. But, I mean, Ray has the consistency because he spams races all the time oof i mean i'm just saying it makes sense because i'm just like ray literally races more than tony does so is it a surprise that he's more consistent i mean not not really he's literally putting in more time and effort into it so um i think tony knows more tricks and he has way better cinematics but i mean ray literally grinds races every night so like saying he's more consistent at the races he's grinding every single day is not not a big reach in my opinion um so i mean yeah i feel like tony's really good um and he has better tricks and cinematics but i mean yeah guys i'm just gonna say it. ray literally grinds races every night so he's gonna be better at the races he just does it more you know what i mean um at least for that specific thing um, anyway, let's go check if we got some green dongles or anything. Um, okay. He's on a loop, mostly because, like, I feel bad, because I'll say, like, an opinion that, if in all honesty, is not even that spicy or crazy of an opinion. And then people will get upset and be like, I can't believe you're being so toxic. And then I feel awkward, because I'm like, I feel like it wasn't that toxic. I'm just saying the guy who's practicing more is more consistent. Uh, which I think is a pretty fair, not even take, it's just, uh, I mean, is it that weird to say this guy practices more? And, I, I mean, I, that's not even a bad thing. How is that a bad thing? Um, and then people get upset. They're like, how dare you say he does well because he practices more? Like, it's not even, I don't know. I feel like that's pretty normal, I, I feel like. But, um, okay, we've got... Oh, we've got two reds that are going bad, actually. Could do the vault. Um, yeah, we, we do have two reds that are going bad. Uh, we have... I mean, Ray has a green, but he probably wouldn't mind if we used it, because greens are very difficult to use. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay, so Ray has a green. He probably won't mind if we take it. We have two reds and a blue. Uh, the reds are going bad soon, actually, so... Very likely we'll use that. Um, I guess we'll see what's open, and we'll either do the blue or the green, is my thoughts. Or the, maybe we could do the red if we have... Do we have thermite? I didn't see any in here. The router? I'm telling you guys, that had nothing to do with the casino, just like we thought. Um, we could check the casino for thermite, probably. Eh. Lang has it. He might. We'll have to ask him. I mean, we need, like, a little bit to do any banks, but if we do the vault in particular, we're gonna need more. Uh, usually vault you bring at least four, sometimes five. I'd rather bring five, because I haven't done the vaults in a while. So. Um... Uh, 
All right. Um, did he rob the casino? No, we've made almost no uh, progress in that respect. Let's go check the uh, casino, see if we got some thermite there. Because we, we can do the vaults. I think um, those red dongles are 20%. They're going bad soon. Repair the Sultan, please. Uh, it's driving fine in my book. It's not driving 100%, but it's our car, so we're not going to be using it to escape cops. Unless we absolutely have to. So I think we'll be fine. Um, let's go to the casino, check for thermites. Alright. Um, Alright, to the casino. We'll go check the hotel room. I think that's where we're keeping all the thermite, but... We'll give it a quick check, see what happens. Um... Oh! I just noticed you compulsively adjust your mic. Um... Well, it's not for no reason. It's because, um... My mic, like, arm is kind of old. It's about 10 years old, almost. So it kind of sags every once in a while. So, uh... I, I have to adjust it to make sure it's the right... So, guys, the, the weird thing about this microphone is it's very sensitive to where I am, right? So if it's right up on my voice right here, it probably sounds fine. You guys can hear me fine. But if it's slightly off, it sounds really, really weird. Like, let me, um, here. I didn't move it that much, right? It probably sounds kind of weird. I don't know if it sounds... What? What the? Is that normal? That... And it's barely moved, right? I just slightly turned it. Now I turn it another, like, two inches, right? I turn it two inches here, back to normal. So I'm just saying, uh, my, my mic arm is kind of old, so it moves a little. And this mic is very, very sensitive to uh, even just if it moves an inch out of place. I just did it again. But if it moves an inch or two out of place, it, it's really, uh, it's kind of finicky. You know what I mean? Now, I'm not saying it sounds bad. I'm just saying it's... Uh, specific microphone where if you don't set it up quite right it, it doesn't work very well so that's why I, I try and make sure it's in the right spot just so it, it sounds uh better but yeah like i mean you guys saw it i turned it to the left about an inch or two and it was kind of scuffed sounding as scuffed as that car driving through the floor right there anyway um let's go check if there's some thermite and if there is then uh we should be good if not then we might have to go in debt with speedy a little bit more so, um, okay. Hey, Mr. Lang, we have thermite, right? I'm okay, sir. I'm okay. Yeah, we got some thermite wine. Okay, just making sure we need it for the banks, but I think we have every type of dongle, actually. We have red, uh, blue, and we have one green that's raised, but... I don't think you'll mind if we use it if a Fleeka's open, because Fleeka's are never open. So Yeah, true. Also, our reds have like 20% quality left, so we should honestly think about using those soon, because they have 20% quality left. Yeah, I agree. Um, all right, so you, you got the, you got the go thermite right on you? Plan? Uh, I'll be like stash right now. five minutes, and then I'm pretty hey, much there, ready to go. Okay. Oh. Yeah, what's up? You at uh, the casino? Um, yeah, I'm just waiting I... for somebody, darling. What about you? Just going to the casino. All right, good luck. Strange character at the casino. I was going to check the casino stash in case I left something there. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'll be ready in like, ready, uh, right? yeah, like, uh, just, just like five minutes or so, and I'll be good. I was just making sure we had no thermite and all that. Yeah, I got yeah, You want to, do you think we could two-man a vault? I mean. Fuck no, but. I think Harry's well, gonna be around soon and speed. Oh, around. that would be perfect. We got a nice okay. little crew. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just thinking because the I checked our red dongles have 20% quality. They're gonna be bad in like, you know, a couple days, and who knows if the vault will be available. We can put a little couple crew together. Days, you know what I'm saying? All right, that'd be perfect. I'm gonna go check for supplies, and then I'll be ready in like five, ten minutes probably. All right, sounds good, baby. Just give me a call. Right. See you soon. Okay. Vault crew. I've never done a heist with Speedy before. I've done a few with Harry before. Um, he's pretty cool. Guys, we should we should have Harry do the vault thermite. It'd be good practice for uh, what's it called? For the magnets. Is that a bad idea? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I think it'd be cool though. Um, 
Okay, we do need to get some more food for the smart food for the hacks, for the laptop. Bad idea? It's probably a bad idea, yeah. Well, guys, it's not our scheduled day, so... No, uh, nothing there. But it's okay. We don't have many ideas anyway, so I mean... Alright. Let's go check the, uh, casino stash, though. And over here. Into here. Hopefully there's a little bit of thermites. Um... Okay. Oh, wait, I think I left my phone dongle in here. Time Lord. Wait, Mr. Lang has two dongles. <laughs> Down bad. Duck. Okay, no thermite in here. I think Mr. Lang probably has it in his secret stash, I bet. Should we bring a magnet to the... Let's bring a magnet to the vault. I mean, it's, it's absolute copium pipiga brain, but I mean... It's one magnet, and it's not even illegal, so we won't lose it if we get caught. I think we bring one magnet just, just to see. <gasps> magnet at the jewelry store. Do you think? Ah, probably. I mean... I mean, maybe... I don't want to call Mr. Lang. We got to go get ready for stuff. Um... Magnet at the jewelry store? Maybe. I feel like that wouldn't be it, though, because that door's been in there for a long time. I don't know. They already tried it? Okay. I, I said I think it's a maybe. I think we bring it just to test it out on stuff. It doesn't hurt. It's one magnet, you know? It's just one magnet, guys. It's, it's nothing crazy. Um... Magnets are used for the elevators? I mean, we figured out how to use the magnets already. And actually, it could help to check if we can use the magnets while the power is on. Right? Ah, uh, well, okay, okay, we agree. We can't do it today. We can't do it today, guys. I know it's like a, for the most part, harmless test, I think. But we can't do it today. Um, as per the, the uh, gentleman's agreement, if you want to, if you want to call it that. Um... Don't know. Right? I, I mean, I know it's like just a random test. I don't even think they started it, but still, guys, we, we all agreed uh, it's CG's day today, right? Only CG can do the heist today. <clears throat> Only CG is allowed to uh, try out the casino today. Um, so... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, guys. Um, <laughs> all right. No. Keck W. I, I'm trolling. Guys, I'm, I'm trolling. Okay, I'm trolling. Um, we're not going to mess with it. I think uh, they said names for the heist crews, but realistically, it's going to be more like... Um, what's it called? Um, it's going to be more like e each squad that's attempting it, you know? So, obviously, we're not actually part of CG. Um, I mean, like, we sort of are, but it's more like an honorary meme member, sort of, as opposed to anything crazy. Um, but it sounds like we might be able to do the vault today, especially because it's going to, uh, what's it called? Um, it's going to run out at some point. Um, are you playing the new Pokemon game? Uh, I, I don't know. We'll see if it looks good or not. Um, not too sure. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't think it'll be... Hey, guys, I'm, I'm just going to say I think it's... Um, what's it called? I think it, it's... Uh, I don't know. A lot of people made fun of it. It got great reviews. Did it? I mean, I give it a maybe, guys. I mean... I think the problem with Pokemon games is it's so, like, enclosed. You know what I mean? Like, if all our other friends play it, we can battle each other. But, like, there's no interaction in it. Um... Which makes it okay for like a chillin' on your own game, but I just, I'm not sure. Um, don't hate it though. Oh! Did he go in room 503? Did he? I don't know. <laughs> um, 
Did he go in room 503? I, I didn't see. I didn't see, guys. He might have. Okay. <clears throat> well, that's not suspicious at all. Um, that's Rami's hotel room? Yeah, it is, but it also happens to be the room that leads straight to the heist. So. Um, we were just checking for thermite in the stash, though. Surely cops won't camp the power plant? I don't think they have to anymore. I think, uh, people told me it was changed where the power doesn't shut down for the whole city. Which kind of makes sense, because I'm just gonna say, with the curtain plan, it would have been, like, permanent blackout each day for, uh... <laughs> yeah. Would have been bad. Would have been bad is all I can say. Alright. Yesterday was a struggle? Yeah, it sucks for civilians. Is that a player or an NPC? Um. Alright. Um. Okay, give me two seconds, guys. To set something up real quick. Um. Okay, just this. Um. Nope. Um. Oops. Oops. Wait, where even... Huh? Um... Um... Oh, oh, wait. Huh? Um. All right. Let's see. Um. All right. Oh, here it is. Okay, okay. I think... Just, just, um... Yeah, surely we'll get it this time. Oh, this? Um... Okay. Um. Did I did I do this? <laughs> did I do this right? Um. All right. Um. Okay. Did I? I I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna need a minute. Oh, I never even took down the... Okay. Um... Can I just do that? I don't even know if that works. <clears throat> okay. Oh wait, Mr. Lang's already doing it. Man, he leaked it. He leaked it. Um Okay. Um I think I got most of it set up. I think. Um I think it's mostly set up. Probably. Let me double check everything. Chat of bots. Um
Okay. Um. Okay. Let's see. Um. All right, I think we're all set up for the most parts. Um, okay, change the title. 